Mebor Lake, about 10 miles west of Laramie, is about to get a breath of fresh air, and the result is hoped to provide anglers with bigger fish for their creel. It's not a deep lake, the deepest parts only go about six feet, but it poses a problem when winter months roll around. The snow and ice choke off oxygen to the annually stocked six to seven inch rainbow trout that often grow to 16 inches by September. Bottled oxygen systems and solar-powered aeration systems provided some relief, but were still unable to prevent winter kills during severe winters. Well, a $35,000 donation from the Laramie Valley Trout Unlimited chapter is about to fix that. Laramie Region Fisheries Biologist Steve Gale. The Laramie Valley Chapter of Trout Unlimited has, has come up with a generous donation to install a new aeration system that's run off electricity that will operate 24-7 unlike the solar aeration systems, which had to stop and charge during the day. And so when you get those really negative degree temperatures, this electrical system is going to be working all the time and hopefully will help prevent winter kill here. And what happens is those 16 inch in the fall fish will become 20 inch fish just by that next year. Trout Unlimited chapter members also pitched in with their labor, hooking up the electrical system, connecting air hoses, and setting the aerators in the lake. Seven winter kill events have happened at Mebor Lake since 1998, the most recent being last year. Game and Fish data indicates that if the fish at Mebor can survive the winter, their numbers and quality will go up. Yeah, this, uh, this donation is a game changer in terms of the Laramie Plains lakes. Um, they are quite popular lakes and become more and more popular if you can overwinter fish here. People start hearing about those big fish. The donation comes at a time when the Game & Fish is tightening budgets and money for such projects simply isn't available. The $35,000 pays for the equipment and installation of nine power poles to get electricity to the site. The Game & Fish will pay for the monthly electrical service. The current solar systems at Mebor Lake will be placed in Gillette and Alsop Lakes. If a nice day comes along this winter, it might just be worth it to grab a fishing pole, head out to Mebor Lake, and get some fresh air of your own. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.